Do you remember when Israel killed seven international aid workers in Gaza? Forgive me, I should probably be more specific because Israel has killed aid workers on multiple occasions. I mean the attack on the World Central Kitchen convoy back on April 1, among whom were three British military veterans. Well, according to Declassified UK, someone has video surveillance footage of Gaza from that day, but they're refusing to publish it. And that someone is none other than the British Ministry of Defense. So what happened was that a Royal Air Force surveillance plane, which has spent around five hours above Gaza that day, captured the footage. It just so happened that the plane went back to Cyprus only minutes before the airstrikes were launched. Based on flight tracking data, the spy flight took off from RAF Akrotiri, Britain's airbase in Cyprus, at 5 p.m. local time on April 1 and landed at 10.49 p.m. Now, based on IOF claims, the Israeli occupation forces claimed the aid worker convoy departed from a humanitarian pier in Gaza at 10 p.m. with armed suspects allegedly boarding the vehicles at 10.28 p.m. Israeli drone strikes were launched two minutes apart, the first being at 11.09 p.m., the second at 11.11 p.m., and the final one at 11.13 p.m. According to the New York Times, Palestinian social media channels were reporting on the airstrikes at around 10.30 p.m. This indicates that the Royal Air Force could have gathered footage of what went down before Israel killed the workers because it was probably heading back to base over the Eastern Mediterranean during the attack, or it could have just landed at the base when it happened, meaning that the spy plane could have recorded footage of the eight convoys movement along Gaza's coastline shortly before the vehicles were targeted by Israel. And this could possibly debunk Israeli claims thrown around that day that Hamas gunmen were spotted near the convoy and could also be used to cross-reference the IOF's so-called investigation. I know, I know, it's a lot to take in. The UK has sent more than 200 spy flights over Gaza to allegedly help Israel locate hostages held by Hamas. Some 1,000 hours of footage are estimated to have been recorded by these planes, according to Declassified, compiling a unique archive of a war that has killed around 40,000 Palestinians. The UK military even confirmed to Declassified UK that video footage of Gaza from the Shadow R1 surveillance flight on 1 April is held. However, the Ministry of Defense claims the tape is exempt from disclosure on security grounds and hinted that its contents may relate to UK Special Forces or MI6. Bottom line, it seems like the UK doesn't only arm Israel and protect Israeli officials, but could also have evidence of crimes committed by Israel in Gaza and is keeping mum about them.